There is a place atop a hill, white-walled, calm and still, by rolling fields and ceaseless sea, a century of sanctuary. By Aster's hand, a grand design, a respite during bleaker times, an ancient barracks redeployed for underprivileged girls and boys, a home from home, with open doors for those in need, the young and poor. A retreat to nature, green, unspoiled, its strong roots deep in fertile soil, reaching out beyond the sound to the cobbled streets of Plymouth Town, a piper's call across the hoe, a siren song of ebb and flow. In sharabangs came hopes and dreams and ferries bursting at the seams. On rising tides they came ashore with eyes alive and wide with awe, brought to life some fairy tale exploring seas with billowed sails, tales of old in sepia tone, adventurers in monochrome. Skimming stones across the foam connect to nature free to roam. Beneath the ageless firmament, an evolving sense of permanence, each memory steeped in history, a vibrant thread of tapestry. A century past, those threads persist, pulled together, tightly knit, a patchwork unified and stitched, a harmony in perfect pitch. Young or old, the same song sung, those voices speak in unison, of freedom, nurture, light and joy, self-expression, art and noise, a strong connection found inside, unleashed with doors flung open wide. The present echoes with the past, experiences forged to last, the ghosts of laughter in the rafters, all those happy ever afters, the resonated melodies, a therapy for maladies, a hub for creativity, this forgotten corner by the sea, bestowed throughout with rare life force as all are welcome through the doors, feel their warmth within the walls, actors, poets, troubadours, performers, craftsmen, artisans, revelers in camper vans, movers, shakers, renovators, custodians and innovators, makers home to these and more. Her reach extends to distant shores, whose preservation perseveres through trust and care of volunteers, all here to stay, the message clear. A hundred years and we're still here. Thank you.